Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 467. I am your host, Norman Sanzo, and we got some news for you this week. <coughs> Alright then, let's get right into it then. So first up is Mighty Jack release chart showing of rarities of upcoming ponies described uh what's this? Uh ponies dissectable series two. Okay. Uh the new wave of the Mighty Jack's hidden dissectable pony toys will be flowing following a similar style to their first round, with some characters and variants being rare and ultra rare. In this case we have the Cunemark Crusaders having uh one up uh, one over twenty four chance of being in one of their blind blocks <laughs> blind boxes and an enchanted rainbow uh, sorry enchanted sonic rain boom a variant of rainbow dash with a one over forty eight chance uh the entire line on the thirty uh what uh on uh, hmm, sorry uh the line, sorry, the entire line drops on the 30th of this month. They also include more pictures for you to check out. Uh, find them below. So, <coughs> this has been one of the most interesting toys that uh, Hasbro has licensed out to people. And, sorry. <coughs> and, this seems to be really interesting. Uh, like, we've seen the set of uh, the series one way back when they had the main six uh, uh and celestia and so on and now this time around we have the cmc spy granny smith and uh muffins and so on so what makes this interesting is that uh the variants like what um we got the cmc's and spike uh apple bloom and spike in one box sweetie bell and scooter in one box and the enchanted rainbow dash is a really high rarity so a few things notable is that they have male ponies we got big mac here and not much to see like um he's sitting down and they don't really show us anything about him or anything much about him What's interesting is that they included a uh, unicorn version of Twilight, so that's something cool. And I, I mentioned to you guys before this set of um, this set of toys freaks me out a bit. So yeah, I'm not really comfortable. <laughs> but hey, uh, it is a fun toy. It does look good. It's so accurate. So that's something that you should probably go out if you are into it. So let's go to the next news. And the next news is exclusive IDW announced My Little Pony Generations and final to long running friendship is sorry uh finale to long running friendship is magic comic book. Oh <coughs> that sounds depressing. But anywho uh thanks to our friends at IDW Publish Publishing Equestria Daily can exclusively announce that after 9 years and 102 individual comics, uh, comic issue, this September, the My Little Pony Friendship is Magic monthly comic book series will come to an end. Not a bad run, troop. However, this is not the end of the My Little Pony comic coming from IDW Publishing. For this October, as Equestria Daily and also... Exclusively announced, IDW will be launching a brand new five-issue mini-series titled My Little Pony Generations. I think this covers kind of a given. Oh, um, <clears throat> I think the cover kind of gives away the core premise of the series. However, the press release, which you can find below, goes into the de great detail of not just this brand new mini series from IDW Publishing, but also the series finale of IDW's My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. So uh, this one is a bit too long, it's more of style of an interview, so um, I'm going to let you guys read. So in all honesty, um, after 
reading this. I'm I'm in a mixed bag because the comic has run for about one hundred and two issues. This is the Friendship's Magic uh, line, and you know, honestly, it was a good run. And I do wish that they could have gone more further and whatnot because I highly enjoy the series. But like they always say, all good things must come to an end, and this is one of those things. And I can't wait to see what they bring with this. And oh man, this this is kind of sad. Like oh man, nine years. Wow. But hey, uh, we had a good run. That's the thing. We had a good run. We had the. Uh, Friendship's Magic, the Micros, the Friends Forever series, and so on. So, ending it on Generations is okay. I, I, I won't say much. I still need to catch up on the comics f for Season 10. So, yeah, got a lot to say on that one with that theory there. But hey, uh, that's something to... <coughs> That's something to look forward to in the future. As for this one, uh, did they say anything about a release date or anything like that? No, no, no. Not yet. But still, uh, it is something to look forward to and keep your eye out. Uh, fans of the original G1 ponies will have a blast looking at what is going to happen here. And probably we'll get them into G4 if they haven't watched it. And fans of G4 will probably catch up on the old school, see what makes the old school fun and whatnot. Oh, that would be fascinating if they see Megan. <laughs> okay, that will be cool. That will be cool. Okay, let's move on. So, moving on. Unlisted videos are being private on YouTube. Pack up your favorites. <clears throat> so, uh -huh. this is a general PSA for all. All the pony music, sorry, all pony video or music lovers out there. YouTube will be removing all video created before 2017, uh, most specifically January of 2017. Okay, anyway, um, that are set to unlisted starting on the 23rd of July. This means all classic that creators have left up under hidden links as they transition away from ponies are going to be hidden for any of them that don't pop back up and toggle in an op uh, option to avoid this. It's always good to back up uh, stuff you like on YouTube. There are uh, don't uh, add-ons for all the major browsers that will do it along with websites that will grab videos. Okay, Seth. I'm not gonna continue on, but yes, um, this is one of those things where why did YouTube do this? This is just silly. Why? And from what I understand, which is very little, is that um, it has something to do with the links, and they wanted to create links that are secure, something like that. I mean. I've seen the presentation, but they don't really explain or they, they don't really go into detail what that means. So I'm just letting you guys here know that you, like what, like what Seth mentioned is that if you have a video or a, what you call this, uh, well, this is YouTube, so it's mostly video, but uh, videos or songs that creators uh, pop onto the platform which is the YouTubes and put it under unlisted because well they don't want to they're moving on from ponies and whatnot so uh, it is best for you to go and um, like Seth said keep them aside for personal use and whatnot and cherish them for memories or archiving them yes there's another word for it archiving so yeah, um, that's something to consider, and also I, uh, I I can say more. Um, no, I mean, it's not that I can say more. I got no idea what to say because this is one of those things where it doesn't really affect the MBS show because 
the MBS show has mm, well technically they have or we have no unlisted videos except for a few but those are mostly for patreon exclusives and if i'm not mistaken there are just only two of them which are what are they and which are they um have subscribed to the patreon to find out other than that yeah um back up whatever you uh want and just well yeah just back up and keep them safe and for you content creators out there if you're watching thank you uh do keep an eye out for your stuff because if you have said things to unlisted uh go check if you're affected or not like personally for my uh channel like my personal youtube channel i have one that's affected and it's not a real biggie it's like not really how do it put it it's a not it's not a huge deal because the video itself was just um nothing important so yeah uh so anyway um that's about it for this topic so yeah back up your favorite lastly my little pony annual 2022 reveal image of the generation 5 movie yay this is something fascinating <coughs> we have <coughs> We have big news coming out of the My Little Pony annual for 2022 listed over on Amazon UK's branch. The book's preview page actually includes a few images of the actual movie that's releasing in September. We might not have a trailer yet, but at least we finally have something. Uh, have something. It includes a completely new pony, a cute image of sunny with her g4 pony toys go check out below so yeah this book looks interesting i got no idea what it is and yeah uh this 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 is interesting uh we have what uh meet the crew uh some art and crafts things that you can do uh, you know some of those activity books and whatnot so yay yeah, this is pretty cool this is pretty cool um description uh, i'm not gonna read it so yeah this was well, sticker book oh yeah sticker book cool so this is this is an interesting book this is an interesting book but what really caught my eye and what um uh, a patreon follower or patreon supporter pointed out was uh this page to be specific <clears throat> okay uh the guardians of harmony we remember them right uh, it's twilight and the gang so <clears throat> when sunny was a young earth pony her father told her a story about ancient equestria and princess twilight together twilight sparkaroo and her friends taught every pony about the magic of friendship they were the guardians of harmony sunny loves this story about the olden times when earth ponies unicorns and pegasi all live in peace she dreamed of having a friend who could fly around or float things maybe she could figure out how to bring the magic of friendship back so she told her father someday the both of us will meet unicorns and pegasi pegasus and we'll be best friends forever so yeah um <laughs> so out of that um snippet we learned that it is a really really long time after g4 and the timeline is g5 is part of g4's universe so hmm, in a typical story like let's just pick one anime naruto probably be naruto uh let's just imagine this um naruto was set in this timeline but if you jump back to the first ninja war or just way back when when uh whatever was discovered that's some that's similar to what's going on here 
So this is kind of interesting. I mean, what happened to make people? Um, I, I won't say forget, but what? Well, yeah, I'll, I'll let's say forget. Like, what made people forget that the Guardians of Harmony existed? Uh, now they're just relegated to myth stories and whatnot. And what happened to the pony tribes? Like. There, it, it sounds like they've been split, like s they're they're living in their own community, tribe. Like what happened? This goes, th this totally goes against what Twilight was trying or what Twilight was preaching because she's been um, preaching about uh, friendship, about unity about coexistence and um, generally being nice. I, I, I forgot, but those are the things that pops in my head when I'm talking about what Twilight was trying to teach. And something has to be, or something has to screw up really royally to, for this to happen. And when you think about it, what, what cataclysmic event happened to make um, the ponies kind of split up. The last time that they did that, the Windigos came back, and I'm guessing, uh, they didn't for this one. Like there is a lot of things that you could talk about. Like I am very interested. Like the story now is very interesting. Uh, honestly, I got no idea what they're gonna do with it, but still. Let's move on to, well, uh, well, that's the end. And let's move on to the next topic. And next topic is what have I been doing my week? <clears throat> so, my week has been pretty okay. Um, haven't been doing anything interesting or new. Well, uh, the pandemic is still around and the government has said no going out. So, that is a major bummer. Boo. Can't do anything about that. So, yeah, I have been relegated to staying home and just following orders and whatnot um in terms of gaming um i have bought some games uh w one of them is the metal slug double x uh, metal slug is a very uh, what is a 2d side scrolling uh i won't say beat em up it's kind of a shooter where you control characters like imagine contra or for you new kids on the block um what is a good game that you might remember oh, i don't remember like you young and probably don't have those kind of games so anyway um it is a fun game it is a good game uh, i highly recommend it especially with the steam summer sale going on right now so uh it's cheap i think i, I remember buying it for cheap so go go check it out go check it out other than that, um, I watched Brand New Animal, BNA, and it was good. It was good. Uh, it had the, this is a trigger show syndrome where uh, the main characters, well, it's not that bad, but still, you can clearly tell that this is a trigger show. Uh, it had certain aspects to the show that made it uh, like uh, not really made, but it showed that oh look at this. This is one of their quote unquote um, staples in terms of how they approach the show and whatnot. All in all, it's not bad, and I highly enjoyed it. So yeah, I, I totally would recommend. Uh, would I review it? I I don't know. BNA or Brand New Animal is only twelve episodes long, while. Uh, Little Witch Academia is 24, I think? Uh, let me double check. I, I think it's 24 because it's double 12s. Uh, let's see. Little Witch is 25, sorry. Uh, plus one. So yeah, um, Little Witch is not bad. Like, uh, If I'm not mistaken, Little Witch is triggers. So yeah, we will see how. Um, I totally recommend go watch um brand new animal because it's fun if you have that itch that you really want to scratch with the 
um, Beastars, Little Witch might cover that for you. It's very interesting and it is a good show. Yes. Uh, other than that, mm. no, nothing much. Magic Gathering is coming out and stuff. They have the whole thing with uh, Dungeons and Dragons, so that's cool. But in all honesty, uh, I might sit this one out because I just feel that um, I, I feel the Magic the Gathering burnout. Like, getting new products, buying new stuff, it's cool and all, but oh uh, man, not being able to go out of the house, meet people, play with them and whatnot is kind of eating up at me. I know I can play online with people, but it's it's not the same. It's not the same. But anywho, um, that's about it for this week. So anyway, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at theambitionalgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at the MBS show. And my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And also, Stitcher Radio. And also, like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PrintedLive.com. Links are in the show notes. Also, if you would like to support... Sorry, um, no. <laughs> uh, also, if you don't mind, please um, subscribe and follow us or mostly subscribe uh, to our review and discussion podcast on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. And I just made a realization. We are on Audible. Yay! That's awesome. So, yay, over there too, if you don't mind. Uh, we review My Little Pony episodes, comics, specials, and movies. Other things than ponies, we also do animes, comics, cartoons, video games, and movies. Yay! Uh, movies has not been a lot this year. This year has been very minor. Hmm. But anywho... Uh, do follow us there too do, do subscribe please and thank you uh, if you like to support the show you can do so at patreon.com slash mbs show with every support you get a week's early access to the review and discussion podcast exclusive and deleted content and a huge thank you from me talking about thank yous I would like to thank Jeffrey Lucky Knight Master of Flag and also Tristan thank you so much guys you are great so anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the Media Show. See ya!